Hey guys, welcome to another Come and Train It video. Today we wanted to talk about the e-collar and how to use it with your animal and the different aspects of this training tool that we use. There are two parts. We have the collar and then we have the remote. Um, and we're just going to show you how to operate them and how to use them today. Okay, so we've got the, the, the collar and the actual remote. The way that you turn these tools on, on the remote, there's a button back here with an L on it. If you press and hold this button for three seconds, it will turn your remote on. The way you turn on the collar is by touching this little red magnet to this little red magnet here. You touch it once, it flashes green, and it turns the collar on. The collar has two contact points that make contact with the dog, um, and the collar has two control buttons that we use when training. The remote goes from zero all the way up to 100. So whatever your dog works on, you can adjust the collar to that level. We've got two buttons that we use. We've got a black S and a red S. There is a button over here, a T, but that's just for vibrate. That just vibrates the collar. We don't train with that. We just use it to make sure that the collar's on. This black S will stim at whatever level your, the number is on your little control remote here. So right now, I'd be stimming at a 15. This red button, this red button adds a certain, depending on how we calibrate the collar for you, will add a certain amount of levels to, your, to the stim. So in this case, it adds about five. We can change that to 20, to 50, all the way up to 60 if we need to. This black button is your working level button. This red button is essentially your panic button. This is the button that you press if your dog's running into the street and is about to get hit by a car. We don't train with this red button. We use it only in moments where we need to act fast and we want to communicate to the dog that whatever they're doing is absolutely not okay. They'll either get hurt or they're going to get into trouble. Um, this knob on top changes the levels, like I mentioned earlier. There's two buttons in the back here. This L button is what we use to turn the collar on. If we just press it once, instead of holding it, it turns a pulse on this light. If you press it again, it turns a solid light on. So that's good for if you have your dog out at night. This collar is also waterproof up to 50 meters. Then there's a little button just to the right of this L button that changes the, the function of this black S. So if I press this button here and hold it, it will change to M and C. So M stands for momentary, C stands for continuous. So this allows me to just press once for momentary if I need it, or press and hold for continuous. If I press it again, it goes just to momentary, which means if I press and hold, it will not continuously stim. We train here, at come and train it on just continuous. So if we need to, we can press and let go, but for however long we have our finger on this black S, it will continue to stim up to seven seconds. After seven seconds, it does reset, and if your dog hasn't complied at that point, you may have to, to initiate the button again. So now we can show you how to properly fit this collar on your dog. So we fit the e-collars as high up as possible, right behind their regular collar. Um, or whatever you're going to be clipping your leash to. So we like it high up, typically behind the ear is a good spot. Um, it can be on either side of the neck behind the ear. We have it really snug where you can snugly get two fingers under the band. And we have it done up that way so that we make sure the contact points are actually touching the skin and making a good contact so that we have better communication with our dog because if it's done up too loose or it's just not touching the skin, you're gonna have issues with connectivity and you're gonna end up going higher on your e-collar than you really need to be going. So we have it done up like that. Every few hours, try to rotate it so I might turn it a little bit or you can switch sides just to prevent any possible irritation from the prongs sitting on the same spot. No tip. <laughs> 